Hey y'all, it's Rachel, owner and artist at Stella Rose Boutique here in Greenville, Tennessee. I was part of Debbie's video boot camp and I participated remotely from East Tennessee. This being my very first YouTube video and being computer and technology challenged and a ball of nerves, I made a bunch of mistakes, but I will share them all with you no matter how embarrassed I get. Today's stars of this show are DIY paint in Prom Queen, Water Lily, and Blue Iris. I also used the Big Top Sealer, the Making Powders in Elixir and Silver Lining, the JRV Stencil in Infinity, and the JRV Stencil Brushes, the Klingon F30, and the Turquoise Iris Fine Mist Water Sprayer. Here's the bench I started with. Here's my first mistake. And here's my second mistake. I took up the whole camera, so then I started painting, and then it quit recording on me. Mistake number three. So I quickly got the heat gun out and started drying it, and started over on the back side, where I started with the blue iris, and then I wanted to visually set my markers in my mind where I would paint each color to. So I continued with the blue iris and then the next DIY color, which is the center, is water lily. I mixed 50-50 with the water lily and the blue iris to get the center color between the two. And then once I applied the water lily, I mixed water lily 50-50 with Prom Queen, and I put that color there. And then the top I finished off with Prom Queen. I then got my Fine Mist Water Sprayer, and I started spraying the paint that had dried. You can reactivate DIY paint just by adding water, and it will not dilute the colors. So I blended the paint starting from the bottom, the darker colors working my way up to the top, creating an ombre effect from the top to the bottom. I then went and took out an infinity stencil that is designed by Vintage Retail Therapy by Mora and produced by Jamie Ray Vintage's JRV Stencils. I then took Water Lily and I took some of the Elixir Making Powder by DIY and I mixed the two together and I came up with a chalk type paste that I used to stencil. These are 15 mil reusable stencils, so I wanted a raised effect. I also, when I started stenciling, used that medium with the brand new JRV stencil brushes and then I would also dip into the other colors and the actual making powder to give it a different hue and effect look. And here is how Miss Genevieve looked up close before she got her final treatment. See how the stencils have different depths with the different dark and light? Isn't she beautiful? I'm taking my DIY Big Top Sealer my making powder in the color Elixir, and my mica powder in the color Silver Lining. I took some of the big top out and put it in a separate container so I wouldn't contaminate the big container, and I mixed it all together. Isn't she beautiful? I applied this custom tinted big top sealer with my F30 Klingon brush. These making powders the possibilities are endless. Look at how it's deepening the blue on my piece. You can add these to any decoupage medium you want to use. Grout, sealer, waxes. The possibilities are endless. All the products used in today's video can be found online at stellarosboutique.co or in my shop, Mercantile on Depot at 130 West Depot Street in downtown Greenville.
You'll also find them a DIY paint retailer, Sweet Pickens Milk Paint Retailer, Iron Orchid Designs, Jamie Ray Vintage, Roy Cycle Decoupage Paper, Klingon Brushes, Salt Wash, and many more decor items.